winner. This episode, we are doing some camping. What is wonderful about Oregon and Washington forests is that you can disperse camp and you can even go from your car. Today, I drove all the way up into the woods and found a beautiful camping spot. I'm gonna enjoy some nice weather and some wilderness and have myself a wonderful camping trip. I stopped by Next Adventure to pick up a few things that I needed for the trip, and Brian really hooked me up with some awesome camping things. One thing I have is my camp stove, which I'm gonna make breakfast on, my favorite breakfast on, and you'll see that. Some campware to go with it, some coffee essentials, which I'm stoked for, some headlamps, some cool lanterns to set out around my campsite, and a mushroom knife just in case I get to do some foraging, and a little bit of instant coffee that I have too. So I'm just gonna finish setting these things up and then get to cooking and enjoy some outdoor time. that um, made me sure that this was the right place is I could see a great place for a tent. It was flat, it was pretty soft, there wasn't a bunch of big rocks in it. I moved some sticks out of the way and it's close to my fire but still far enough away to be safe. So that's how I knew this was the perfect spot. I put my tent up and now let's check out the tent itself. This tent is perfect for what I'm doing. It's the springtime, the weather's starting to warm up, and this tent is a great kind of warmer weather tent. But definitely pay attention to the weather before you come out. This is my two-person tent. It's perfect for me, one other person, and of course, Mr. Oli to join us as well. So here's what I've got in here. My tent set up, I have my packable pillow, I have my light sleeping bag, which will keep warm down to 20 degrees. And finally, I have my sleeping pad. What I really love about these things is these are all designed for comfort. Because I am in my car and I can pack all of these things in my car, I don't need super ultra light things, which sometimes are more expensive. These things are fairly inexpensive. They all fit in my car nicely, right in the trunk of my Civic and can unpack and I rolled them out and it's all ready really quickly. So this is gonna be comfortable, it's gonna be fun, it's going to be really easy and I can just focus on enjoying my time outside. favorite campfire treats is roasted bananas with chocolate and peanut butter. They're super easy to make. First, take a square of foil and lay it down. Next, take a banana and remove about an inch width of peel on the inside curve of the banana and slice it up in the peel. Then take a peanut butter cup and cut it in half. Tuck the pieces of the peanut butter cup inside the banana peel alongside the banana. Then carefully wrap it all up in foil. And set it close to the fire with the peeled portion facing up so it catches the melted chocolate and peanut butter. Mmm, so good.
Good morning. We had a great night of sleep last night and decided to get up and start making a little bit of coffee and a little bit of breakfast before we set out for a fun day of fishing and mushroom foraging. But I just really need to start with a cup of coffee. And I have all my things here set to make coffee fresh, just the way I like it. And so I'm gonna start with some grinding action here. Part of the fun of camping is spending time outdoors, of course, but all of the fun gadgets that come with going on trips so that you can really enjoy the outdoors, like a hand coffee grinder. Just a heads up, this takes a while. There are tons of ways that you can make your morning coffee when you're camping, from the good old-fashioned cowboy coffee, where you use a percolator, add your coffee, add the water, and set it in your fire for about 20 minutes, and you have delicious coffee. Or you can have it done in two minutes with a jet boil and a French press attachment. I'm just gonna mix it straight into my jet boil here. Add the top. And in about four minutes, I'll be pouring myself a cup of coffee. Four minutes are up, now I can have my coffee. For breakfast, I'm making my very favorite bacon and pancake sticks. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with cooking bacon and then I'm gonna like, basically they're gonna be within the pancake. And then you just take the stick of pancake and you dip it in syrup and eat it. It's the easiest camping breakfast ever. It's delicious and fun to make and I only do it when I'm camping so it's like a treat too. It doesn't really matter what kind of pancake batter you use, but I always try to find one where you just have to add water to it. It just makes it a little bit easier when you're out camping. You don't have to have all of these ingredients. It's a good mix. Just add water and now you have your batter. So now I'm gonna cook part of the pancake. I'm gonna start by putting a little bit of butter in my pan. Next, I'm gonna make a little row of batter. I'm gonna let that cook just a moment while I find a piece of bacon that's gonna fit right in the batter. Carefully lift my pancake, scoot it over. Add a little bit more butter, just because I don't want this to stick. And then I'm gonna make an identical row of batter. And using the one next to it as sort of a guide. And then I scoop my little bacon guy and I flip him right on top of my other strip of batter. And there it is. Bacon sticks in pancakes in a little bit of syrup. You don't really need utensils for this. Just grab your stick, get a little syrup on. Mm. Bacon and pancakes are always good together. But when you have them as a little stick like this, it's just that much more fun. 
love spending time in the outdoors and want to get out as often as I can. So having options that are close to home, fairly convenient, and something that I can do from my car just makes it that much more special to me. Enjoying good food, spending time with my dog, a little bit of fishing, and spending time outdoors is one of the best things that I think that you can do with your time. So I hope you find this helpful and that you get out and try some camping this year. One of the reasons we selected this camping spot is because we wanted to scout out some trout fishing opportunities. Oregon stocks tons of lakes all throughout this area, so we wanted to go and see if we could find one of those. There it is. Got it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Had to make this really simple, and this is the key to getting them. First, you use a bobber, small treble hook. No weight. No weight, power bait. And then just don't fall off the log, and you'll catch fish. Power bait is super effective. To use it, just pull out a little ball the size of your finger. Actually roll it into a ball and then squish it onto your hook, trying to maintain that kind of ball shape. Make sure to cover all pieces of the hook and experiment with sizes. Some bigger and some smaller can work just as well. You can just see, you see the power bait just darting around out there. Thanks. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.